The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. My prediction is that XRP holders will experience financial independence in the not too distant future. But wait, there's more. Being a cryptocurrency investor is truly liberating. Today, my fellow investors, we achieved not one, but two huge triumphs. Just an hour ago, something came to light that will help shape, mold, and advance this industry. If you enjoy discussing digital assets like Ripple XRP, dropping X in the comment section, hit that like button, and share the video to let others know what's really happening in this ditch revolution. Yesterday was a huge win for the digital asset space, as FIT21 was passed, and today was equally big. This is it, everyone. After receiving resounding bipartisan approval for FIT21, the SEC has approved all spot Ethereum ETFs, which are enormous when it comes to financial services. Today, the government approved Ethereum ETFs, which is a major step forward. According to them, the SEC must immediately speed up the approval process so that regular Americans can have easier access to these items. We all know that the US government isn't always on our side, so they are urging us to move quickly. Last week, you guys made some statements that are clearly kicking things into high gear and speeding things up considerably. Here we have the approval for the New York Stock Exchange and other exchanges. Just about an hour ago, this recording was updated to reflect the approval of Justin Ethereum ETF. Many people are speculating that a Solana ETF will be next. However, I can say with certainty that XRP is a digital asset. Regardless of whether it's the next Solana XRP ETF or not, I am completely convinced that it is not a security. Plus, I said this would happen this year on tape about two or three months ago. Regarding digital asset baskets of ETFs, including XRP, I am aware that Brad Garlin House is exceedingly positive. Although he is unable to publicly confirm the existence of an XRP ETF, I believe it is clear that we discussed Robert Micknick's role as head of digital assets at BlackRock. The arrival of the XRP ETF is imminent, in my opinion. Very funny. Currently, Coinbase Chief Legal Officer, Alan Ortara, has released additional information regarding the SEC website's crash as users attempt to access Spot, a theory regarding the approval of ETFs and the Commission's voting breakdown. After news broke that the principle behind ETFs had been approved, I decided to post this. As far as is concerned, this week has been an absolute roller coaster. He claims that Ethereum is finally being treated as a commodity, just as we've always suspected. He goes on to say, I'm proud to be on Team Coinbase, the trusted partner and custodian for many of the issuers who had 19 VTAC4s approved tonight. As I love this guy, and today he releases XRP, which is now trading on Coinbase in New York again. Please allow the volume to arrive from New York. We have listened to you, formed a solid alliance with the state, and are now ready to spread the word that we are actually saluting him and lending support to the XRP army. What's more, US Senator Cynthia Loomis has stated that we are assembling a crypto-friendly congressional delegation. Again, we are seeing progress here as a result of these congressmen and women, regardless of whether you approve of them or not. Wow, the past two weeks have truly been unforgettable. Their performance has been unprecedented 100% this technological shift is occurring at a dizzying rate. People are getting irritated with costs, I can tell now. As soon as they take off, I'll show you the XRP chart in a second. Price explosions will ensue, my friends. Just remember that every coin season follows Bitcoin's movement theory and movement. Let me tell you something. XRP isn't just about financial independence. It's about helping all of us, or at least the invested ones, become financially free. I see. The realm of digital assets, though. It's decentralization, which has been there from the start to aid meanwhile. You folks in Congress are making speeches in favor of abolishing CBCs, 
let us use our own money to build freedom. This form of programmable money is controlled by the government and could grant the power to restrict transactions to the federal government. On Saab 121's adoption in Congress for the purpose of financial innovation. Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act was passed by both chambers with bipartisan support. The policy around digital assets is now front and center in Congress, as was demonstrated only yesterday. We are only at the beginning, and it is already at the forefront. Center stage, and we're only scratching the surface, folks, as the bill to prohibit the Federal Reserve from issuing a CBDC passes today in the House. Obviously, we must now proceed to the Senate, but this was a really significant move. It's not my position. No, I support stable coin. There will soon be a stable coin from Ripple Labs. Good news for XRP and other top-notch digital asset investors, Stellar is collaborating with USDC, and the pieces are fitting together well. Here today, Gary Gensler is claiming that the SEC has done a great job with crypto cases. However, even in those cases that they were supposed to win, nobody benefited, including investors. Gensler is just one of the few naysayers who either doesn't understand the industry or is trying to protect the established. Now, if Gary were to lose badly to Ripple Ruler, it would be the ultimate blow to all of this. The video ends there. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Coming up shortly, farewell.